Wyoming is the only state that boasts four native species of cutthroat trout. Because they are our only native trout, they are a legacy to the state. They are important that we manage them so that future generations have an opportunity to enjoy them. And there are four subspecies of the cutthroat trout. There's the Yellowstone, the Snake River, the Colorado River, and the Bear River, which is also known as the Bonneville. They are very sensitive species. They've been unchanged, like I say, for hundreds and thousands of years. And uh, we think it's important to keep that purity going for future generations of people that live in Wyoming. Cutthroat are the only native trout in Wyoming and the only one believed to be present before the introduction of non-native fishes. However, these numbers have declined drastically and one subspecies is in particular peril. The Colorado River cutthroat trout has probably the broadest historic range in the western United States and covered uh, at one time Montana, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico, broad reaches. Now that's they're you know in less than five percent of their historic habitat in Wyoming at this point. I think Wyoming is going to continue to be diligent in order to keep its native fisheries. Uh, certainly, uh, Yellowstone cutthroat trout, the Bonneville cutthroat trout, and the Colorado River cutthroat trout are the ones that are really the most imperiled right now. It's going to call for fishermen to be informed. It's going to call for the Wyoming Game and Fish Department to be funded properly, uh, and it's going to be call for good science to continue to keep those headwaters pure and in the state that they were intended to be in. You know, I think it's important to restore native cutthroat trout to Wyoming um, because over the, the uh, millennia, they've been a relatively uh, unique species to this part of the state, particularly the Colorado River cutthroat trout. Obviously, some other subspecies in different parts of the state. It's an imperative, if you will, for land management agencies, both state and federal, to, uh, to try to maintain native species in their native habitats. We, we would like to keep any species that uh, pose threats of uh, loss of viability off of the uh, threatened and endangered species list. The cutthroat special place in Wyoming makes it invaluable to biologists, conservationists, and fisheries managers. Anglers appreciate cutthroats for their inherent willingness to take a lure or fly, their beauty, and their acrobatic fights once hooked. Cutthroat trout, besides being a beautiful fish, is an easily caught fish. It has, it has a, a wonderful role in terms of, of providing a, a fish to novice anglers, um, a place where, where novice anglers can be taught correct uh, catch and release, correct fishing methods. Uh, how to handle a fish. The other thing cutthroat trout do is they exist in unique habitats, habitats unique to Wyoming, where people can not only enjoy the, the fishing, but enjoy the surroundings. They are important to our angling public. They are a unique species, so we need to manage these fish for our anglers so they can catch, so they still have the availability and future generations have the, have the availability of catching some of our native, one of our native fish. Um, why else are they important? They have evolved in the Little Snake River drainage and the Colorado River drainage for well over 20,000 years since the advent of the last ice age. So not only are they important uh, as far as sport fishery, but they are what we can call an indicator species since they are uh, well adapted to the streams and rivers in the Little Snake River drainage. I mean, once these fish not only um, survived in the, uh, in the very headwater streams of the Little Snake River drainage, but they, they, they also survived in the main Little Snake River itself. 